uh, hello uh, today we uh, will make it frozen fairy floss cheesecake loaf this is one of those uh, celebration type of recipes which is don't need to be cooked but come out every time is fantastically well so what we need for that is 200 gram of uh, Tim Tom's um, chocolate classic duck biscuits which is I just crush it you can crush it in a food processor and what we do is we using a loaf uh, pan uh, which is um, about 20 centimeters uh, uh, long and um, around 7.5 wings and about 7.5 uh, tall uh, I will write everything in the description box if you interested to have a look and once we crush it our team times we uh, place it into our uh, loft tin which is we uh, grease with a cooking uh, spray in a line with a baking uh, paper so what we do after that we will um, place our team crush team times and press it with a uh, back of our spoon once you press it uh, your team times what you do is place it in the refrigerator and we start beating our uh, thickening cream I just place it quickly in the refrigerator and uh, um, now what we have is here that um, we have a uh, um, ball which is we will place it basically we have two balls one ball we have 300 ml of a thickening cream and another ball we will place a, a cream cheese 250 gram of cream cheese it's goes inside of our ball and uh, um, uh, half a cup of caster sugar that's caster sugar what we do is now we beat um, basically our cream uh, until soft peaks then we can uh, beat uh, cream cheese and caster sugar in a separate bowl as well Now our uh, cre um, thickening cream is um, basically whipped as you can see it's nice and steady. In the second bowl we uh, beat uh, cream cheese with caster sugar. Once it's nice and, and smooth, as you can see it's nice and smooth, what we do is next we add uh, 250 gram of mascarpone and uh, um, we fold it all together and once we fold then we will add it in the batches into our thickening cream let's fold this one first and to make sure it's not all nice smooth and combined you will find that this recipe is does not take much time and it's very very tasty and does not require any baking as well so um here it's nice done so what we do we take our uh, whipped uh, uh, thickening cream and add in the batches fold up And repeat with rest of our cream cheese mixture when you finish uh, folding um, cream mixture into a uh, thickening cream we add a uh, deep pink or rosy pink or gel food coloring to uh, the mixture then when you're happy with color you get let's have a look what we get first and uh, um, you can make it brighter or 
not as bright it's of course your choice and uh, um let's have a look what we got here uh i think it's nice color and what we do is next we uh fold uh into uh uh, glaze red cherries we need 100 gram of those we finally chopped them and we add into our beautiful mixture let's fold uh, our cherries in then we can add our secret ingredient we have to work very very fast in that point now uh, let's have a look we have um, added everything so now we will add two packets of uh, fairy floss uh, strawberry uh, flavor 15 gram each so we need two of those um, and what we do we add them uh, fold them very quickly and we spread them over our Tim Tam biscuit mixture we have one and another one we probably will get another uh, packet for just decorating on top when we finish mixing our fairy foods then we can spread in on top of our Tim Tam mixture When you finish uh, spreading a uh, mixture then what we do is we place it in a freezer for eight hours then we can make chocolate sauce and a little bit decorated uh, now uh, our frozen fairy floss cheesecake loaf is ready i split it on half to make sure you're able to see what's inside of our cheesecake loaf and uh, um as you can see it's very bright and beautiful color so what we done is we made a chocolate sauce a half a cup of water combined with um, half a cup of caster sugar and two tablespoons of cocoa um, powder and uh, we combined in a uh, saucepan and we just uh, um, basically made simple chocolate sauce um, once it's uh, heat uh, basically uh, uh, on the medium heat uh, stew until it's smooth bring to boil and then you can remove it and stew in the 100 gram of dark chocolate um, and uh, um, then you can just uh, once it's cooled down you can pour on top of uh, uh, frozen fairy floss cheesecake loaf uh, i will write a recipe in the description box you everything you will find it there if you do interesting and uh, um so what we've done we pour our chocolate sauce on top of uh, cheesecake loaf and we decorate it a little bit with the um, uh, extra uh, fairy floss so um, I hope you really do like it it's very uh, beautiful bright and uh, a celebration type of uh, uh, recipe uh, very easy to make uh, no need uh, cook and uh, very popular with children or anyone who really comes everyone like to try and uh, um, uh, thank you very much for your time uh, with me uh, today and uh, do write your ideas and uh, um, subscribe i love to hear from you until next time goodbye